Okay, so coming, and we come. My energy is forward. I'm not coming here and doing this. All I'm doing, I'm cutting and keeping my hands away. The important part is the uke coming to grab every single time. So that when I do cut, this takes it off of the shoulder. I don't let him grab my shoulders. I cut, but he's still trying to grab me. So he goes to the elbow. Same thing here. He's not going to my shoulders because I have his arms at this position here. And then I throw. Now I can look here, but I have to step with that. Same thing. Okay, so that's just one kokinage that's his entry. The other one, as I just talked about, a cut, cut, and I step with that. Step. Step. There's other different ways you can do that. But I just wanted to share both of those. The other one is that we're going to enter. And you're doing this when his foot is in the wrong position. And I'm cutting. Cut, cut, step into that. This can be the same with the noise keage, the same idea. Same idea. Everything's still the same. And if you notice, I don't let him or anyone crowd me, overpower me this way. Because if he's coming back this way, I'm like this, all of the energy is coming in, it's too heavy. Same thing if I want, and I want to try to go back this way, I can't. But I can hold him up with my arm. He's leaning on me. Wait. Oh, yeah, there you go. I can hold him up like this, no biggie. Once I start bending my, my arms like this, it's hard. So as he's coming towards me here, my arms are straight. Cut. Okay, so energy forward, having your arms out to extend in this position, and you're cutting, but you're not overcutting. I see people doing this. They're doing they're cutting too hard. You gotta, you gotta get that connection. There's gotta be that connection here, right in the elbow, right in the elbow. And this connection, this is important. And you cut in this position from here. Cut. Cut. I wouldn't advise to do that because this, all you have to do is drop his hand. Just drop his hand. To do that, okay? And I understand you can practice that, so you can practice that this is what you're really going to do. But it's doing this for a koku, I just wouldn't do that. What I would do from here is cut and then push like that, or if anything, I would go into that position. But I'm not going to do that when the person's strong on their step right to there, because he has all this power. It is all determined on his step, where he has his step. And you just have to find that, and then you attack it.